today's topic, how to manifest someone. Today I want to show you how you can manifest a specific person that you already know or also somebody who just exists in your mind yet and who will then turn into your physical partner in your physical reality. No matter if there's a specific person that you have in mind or if you just have this idea in your head of how you want your partner to be, how you want the love of your life to look like and how you want the love of your life to treat you, you can then manifest this person with the following techniques. But the first thing you have to do if you want to manifest someone is to be grateful for the love that you already have in your life. Always remember, in order to manifest something, you need to become a vibrational match and you need to reach the frequency of the thing or in this case the person that you want to manifest. Or let's also say the experience you want to manifest. You don't just want to manifest someone who hates you or manifest somebody who is indifferent towards you. You want to manifest someone who loves you. You want to manifest a partner. I mean, at least most people who ask me, how can I manifest someone? They want to manifest a partner. They don't just want to manifest a pen pal and they also don't want to manifest some random person who's completely indifferent to them and who then meets them and says, yeah, I don't care. You want to manifest somebody who's deeply in love with you or at least who has the potential to fall in love with you. And that's why you need to be grateful for the love that you already have in your life because you want to do everything in your power to reach the frequency of love and gratitude, as Dr. Joe Dispenza always says, is the ultimate state of receivership. If you are grateful for something, if you give thanks for something, this means that you appreciate this thing or this feeling in the moment right now, which communicates to the universe, yes, I already feel this feeling right now, which means I am a vibrational match to love. So no matter if you want to be thankful for the love you receive or the love you have for a pet or for your mom, for your dad, for friends, for a certain thing, for an item in your life, or for example, for the lovely weather. I mean, now I'm in Germany with my family over Christmas and the weather is not that pretty, but I can still find something to be grateful for. For example, the lovely warm heater instead of the lovely weather. Just find things to be grateful for and connect with this feeling of love. Be grateful for the love you have in your life and then open your heart and create brain and heart coherence every single day. Because there's nothing that puts you closer to the frequency of love than creating brain and heart coherence. And if you want to read about the science behind brain and heart coherence, then I can recommend the article The Heart and the Brain Tango from Dr. Joe Dispenza. I often share this article with my Skype coaching clients, but if you type into Google The Heart and the Brain Tango, Dr. Joe Dispenza, then you will find it. And in this article, he describes the science behind this technique. And since my week-long advanced retreat, I practiced this technique with so many of my coaching clients before we then reach for the frequencies of whatever they want to manifest. And you can also learn about this technique in Module 7 of my 11 Days to Manifestation Mastery program. And if you want to find out more about this program, you can click on the first link in the description or go to affirmationtomanifestation.com slash 11 days. And of course, if you want to work with me on reaching the frequency of the person you want to manifest or the money you want to manifest or whatever you want to manifest, and you also want me to show you how to create brain and heart coherence, then you can book a Skype manifestation coaching session with me. And just so that you know, if you invest in the 11 Days to Manifestation Mastery program, you receive a coupon code for your first Skype manifestation coaching session. And this coupon code is actually worth more than the price you have to pay for the 11 Days to Manifestation Mastery program. And closely observe what emotions you feel while you are visualizing this person. What do you feel when you think about this person? Let's say, for example, you have a specific person in mind who you want to manifest. You know this person for a very long time. What do you feel whenever you think about this person? And that's so important to observe your emotions and to also master your emotions and your emotional state. Because if you feel lack when you think about this person, when you see this person in your mind, if you have the feeling, ah, this person will never like me, oh, I will never manifest this person as a boyfriend or girlfriend, oh, what am I doing here? If you feel these feelings while you are visualizing this specific person, then you only push this person away. You don't attract him or her. 
And the same is of course also true if you for example have a partner in mind who you don't know yet in your physical reality but you want to manifest this person and this relationship that you have in mind into your physical reality. What if you now feel lack whenever you think about this person and this relationship? What if you always tell yourself, ah, oh, you know, it can't be done, I've never been in a happy relationship, I don't deserve love. These are the moments when it's so crucial that you observe yourself, that you figure out why you're thinking this way and that you find a way to control your emotions and to change your emotional state. And that's also something that you learn in great detail in Module 6 of the 11 Days to Manifestation Mastery program. And then what you can do is to create a mind movie that shows you and him together. And yes, you can, for example, go to affirmationtomanifestation.com slash mindmovies. That's affirmationtomanifestation.com slash mindmovies and invest in the mind movie program. I believe that it's an incredible program. I created my own personal mind movie and I think it's a great way of manifesting. However, if you don't want to create a mind movie and if you don't want to invest in this program, that's also okay. Then create a mind movie in your mind. See yourself in the first person with the person who you want to manifest and go really deep into the emotions. How would you feel when you hold this person? Or let's better say, how will you feel or how do you feel when you hold this person? Let's stay in the present tense. How do you feel when you hold this person? How do you feel when you look into his or her eyes? How do you feel when this person holds you, when this person kisses you? How does that feel like? Go really deep into these emotions. Remember, you want to be a vibrational match to the feeling of love and you want to reach for that frequency. And speaking of the frequency, try to reach the frequency of love as often as you can. Yes, we can do that together in a Skype manifestation coaching session. And if you want to have a look at the video testimonials from some of my coaching clients who've manifested amazing things while working with me, then you can go to affirmationtomanifestation.com slash Skype. But if you want to do it alone, if you want to do it without me helping you, then feel into your heart, fall in love with yourself and repeat over and over again, I love myself, I love my life, I am love. Try to connect in as many ways as you possibly can to the emotion of love to then eventually reach the frequency of love by combining this emotional feeling process, if you want to call it like that, the process of feeling love with brain and heart coherence. And then you feel into your heart and you reach the frequency. And what you can also do if you want to manifest someone is to script your vision of your dream relationship. Who is this someone? How does he behave around you? How does he or she treat you? What does he or she say? No matter if you have a specific person in mind who already exists and who is already in your life, I mean, of course, the other person that you want to manifest, he or she also exists, but he or she might not exist on your radar yet. So no matter if there's a specific person who you already know or somebody who you not know yet, or if this person only exists in your mind right now and you haven't seen this person in your physical reality yet, draw him or her into your physical experience by writing a new story. Write the story of your love. How do you feel? How do you feel with him? What does he say to you? How does it feel like to snuggle up to this person, to cuddle this person, to kiss this person? Write everything down and you can then also turn parts of this story into affirmations. And then, yes, you guessed it, in the last point I have to annoy you again with my German consistency, consistency, consistency. Manifest him every day until he shows up in your physical experience and of course if you want to manifest a she instead of a he, then you can also manifest her every day until she shows up in your physical experience. No matter who you want to manifest, I don't care about that. All I care about is that you are consistent because consistency leads to results. If you watch your mind movie every day, I mean, I watch mine every day during breakfast usually, and you rehearse your future every day, and you maybe even read your relationship script that you created every day after you wake up and maybe even also before you go to bed. And if you then also have regular Skype coaching sessions with me, 
in which you allow me to guide you to the frequency of love, which is the frequency you must reach if you want to be a vibrational match to this someone, then the chance that you will manifest this person is sky high. And if you enjoyed watching this video, please send out some love to the YouTube universe by giving this video a big, big thumbs up. And I would also appreciate it if you would leave a comment in the comment section below and let me know what you think about my video. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and to click on the notification bell so that you get notified whenever I release a new video for you.